You're watching ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. All right. So I saw God, I saw Godzilla 98 uh, yesterday, yesterday, early before, before I went on, before I went live. Why does it keep doing that? You guys hear that? My computer's acting up. Um... Yeah, and it's the first time I've seen it like in five or six years because I think I reviewed it back in 2014, 2015. I don't know why my computer's doing that. It usually makes that noise when I disconnect the USB. And I'm not, I haven't touched any of my USB ports. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, and you know what? I sat down and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it straight up. I just had a great time watching it. And um, it wasn't too different than when I saw it when it first came out in 98, the only reaction I had back then when I watched it was the obvious reaction, which is the reaction that has led people to go a little bit loco with this movie, which is it doesn't look like Godzilla. You know, like I was I remember watching the movie and, and enjoying the theater, but I was, had a puzzled look on my face like, mm, I mean, this is good, but this is not it's not Godzilla. It doesn't look like Godzilla. Um. But over the years, especially the last five and especially this past Saturday, you know, I sat down looking at the movie and I was like, you know what? This is not a bad movie at all. And yeah, I do think it's better than a good, a good certain number of Godzilla movies. I mean, if you want to sit here and try and convince me that Godzilla's revenge is better than Godzilla 98, you can go right ahead. I, you probably won't persuade me. If you want to tell me that Godzilla versus a sea monster is better than Godzilla 98, you can go ahead and try. You're probably not going to convince me. I mean, there are. I enjoyed Godzilla 98 better than a good number of normal Godzilla movies like from Toho. And the biggest, and let's think, let's really sit here and think about why we hate or why people hate or why there's such a hate for 98 movie. Really what it comes down to is what he looks like. That's really what it is. If he looked like Godzilla, I don't think it would get near the kind of hate that it did. But then there's so many different designs of Godzilla. I mean, we never really... I mean, for example, I think Godzilla Millennium looks like a rat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not one of my favorite designs. Uh, 98 was obviously a very extreme change. But even Toho has made some extreme changes to Godzilla. Shin Gojira was a very extreme change. There was a lot of people who shit on Shin Gojira for that design. But they don't come out and start saying it's illegitimate. You know what I mean? And that's my argument here. It's like, yeah, this is a legitimate Godzilla movie, whether you want to accept that or not, just because he doesn't look like him doesn't take it away. I mean, whether we like it or not, it's a legitimate, it's in, it's part of the franchise. And yeah, maybe it'll always be the black sheep. Maybe it'll always be the runt of the litter. But I don't think that even even if we look at it like that, I don't think it garners the kind of hate. I don't think I don't think it, gar it should get the kind of hate it does, just because it doesn't look like what we want. I purposely love the movie. Yeah, but you want to know something? It's to me. It's it. It is. Here's the thing. Even if they regretted it later, even if Toho regretted their decision later, they signed off on this. They own this. They're the one who canonized G98. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how many people say, oh, he's, he's G no, no. If you want to live in denial, that's on you. It is a Godzilla movie. And you know what? I'm embracing it as one. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna always refer to it as a Godzilla movie, period. End of story. It's fun. It's got some great moments. It um uh, 
Well, yeah, in Final Wars, they tried that. In Final Wars, that was them trying to walk it back, but you know, of, they regretted it later only because the fans were nuts. But uh, where's let me see? I was given an article by Steve. Oh yeah. Oh, they canonized it well before you guys were even around to complain about it. All right, so Emmerich and let me get the other part. This is this is a very good, and I'm gonna put this in. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, this was a very well researched and detailed article written by our very own Steve Miller, and. Um, it goes into really heavy detail about the process for the Godzilla 98 movie. Now, basically, a team that included Patrick Totopoulos, I believe Roland Emmerich, and so on and so forth. I forget the other guy's name. I think Devlin. Yeah, Devlin was there. Okay, good. Like those three and maybe a couple of other people, they went to Toho to present Toho with the design for Godzilla 98. Now at this point, this was the design that we saw in the movie, which was the iguana, if you want to call it that design. And it was a two day thing. The first day they went, Toho was taken back when they saw the design. They were in shock. They, they literally gasped. And Patrick, Roland, Devlin, they all thought they blew it. The next day, and I, like I said, I'll put this in the description so you guys can read the article. This is a lot of good work by Steve, so I suggest you guys read it. But at the end of it all, and the next day, and I'm going to read it just like it says here in quote. So the next day we got in at 10 in the morning and the head of Toho started speaking to us about how different we had made the character. That we had taken such a far step away from the old one. But their last sentence was, we feel you've kept the spirit of Godzilla. The sense of character is still there. When we look at him, it's Godzilla and nothing else. So we're giving you the green light. Quote Toho to TriStar and the team behind Godzilla 98. They gave the blessing. They gave the blessing. They were okay with the design. Now, why do we praise Toho when they do something good, but we don't give them shit when they do something if somebody thinks it's bad? So everybody shits on TriStar in this movie, but Toho had the final say. So if you're going to shit on it, shit on Toho. At least be fair. But I digress. The fact of the matter is, go back and watch the movie. The one thing I love about this version of Godzilla is he's more intelligent. He made the military in this movie look like idiots. I love the fact that he can dodge missiles. I love the fact that he's faster. Let me ask you a question, because I'm going to tell you right now, this is how I feel about this. I look at the movie Godzilla 98 when he's running around in the city. And there's a nice shot of him running towards the military before he dive bombs into the water. And I looked at that scene several times because I thought it was really cool the way they did it. Then I go and I look at King of the Monsters when Godzilla charges towards King Ghidorah. Guess which one looks cheesier? Take a wild guess which one looks cheesier to me. A big, bulky, slow-moving, methodical Godzilla suddenly sprinting forward or a naturally designed, speedy Godzilla sprinting forward? And I, if you want to be biased and not objective and sit there and say, no, 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 it looks better than King of the Monsters, okay, fine. I won't argue with you. But I will say this. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It was a different design. It was not something people were used to. But I don't think, I just don't think this movie deserves the kind of shit people give it. I don't. Yeah, and... I think the uh, I think the making him weak was an end to a means, you know what I mean? Um, they didn't. I mean, their sequel plan was very different. They wanted to make him more like an animal. That approach hasn't changed much. They did the same thing in Godzilla 2014. They just kept the uh, 
I don't know. I guess if you want to say they kept the invis invincibility, I mean, sure, a missile wouldn't kill him, but it's not like he wasn't affected by it. In fact, a lot of people criticize that. A lot of people criticize when he was crossing the uh, San Francisco Bridge and he got shot with missiles that he actually squinted and like leaned in. But that's the kind of realism I like. You know, like we all complain about Superman being OP, but uh, I don't understand why Godzilla always has to be OP. You know what I mean? I think it makes for a more emotional connection with the character if he actually can die. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's it's not as compelling if he doesn't have an opportunity if he does if he can't die it's not as compelling you know everybody complains they want a more serious godzilla movie or they want a, a godzilla that's more they can connect with well you can't connect with something you can't kill there's no emotional connection there you know he's going to be alive no matter what i kind of feel like sometimes like the community or, or certain fans they want to have both sides of the world and you got to pick one you gotta you got to be able to accept a change in one area to get the effect that you want in the other. You know what I mean? Like you just can't have it both ways all the time. You can't say, Oh, I want a compelling, emotionally gripping Godzilla movie, but then get mad when they make it possible for him to die. Because part of the value of him being able to die is that it makes your connection with him stronger. It's just not to the military, which 98 did. Yeah. 98 was, but, so what? So he died to the military? That makes him less of a monster? You know what I mean? I mean... It was a different a different take on the movie. Uh, there's a lot of people who like Shingo Jira. Shingo Jira got stopped by the military. You don't see anybody bitching about that. <laughs> there have been plenty of times that Godzilla's been stopped by the military. You know? Stopped or died, either way, it doesn't matter. The movie ends with with the military in the wind in the wind column. Yeah, nine fifty four died to a, a one man show. One guy went scuba diving and boom, Godzilla's dead. Nobody complained about that. Best movie of all time. Think about it. The best movie of all time in the Godzilla franchise has Godzilla dying at the end. So why is nobody crying about that? And he didn't die to missiles on a bridge. He died to scientists scuba diving. With a contraption, I mean, he got stopped due to a chemical formula, so an unconventional means. Wait, so why is that unconventional? Because somebody developed a weapon to kill him that makes it unconventional? No, that makes the guy a genius. And it, I'm not saying that him dying in a movie is a bad thing. That doesn't bother me. I think... I think Godzilla should have more opportunities where he's capable of die. It'll make for a more effective character. It'll make for a character that you can uh, connect with on a stronger level. He should be. He he shouldn't be invincible. The baby Godzillas were just a ripoff of Jurassic Park. They were Jurassic Park inspired. I wouldn't say they were a ripoff. I would only call them a ripoff if they looked exactly like them, which they didn't. But there were similarities. I would call it an inspiration. In fact, they even said as much. They even said as much in after in uh, in, ter in terms of the production. They were very heavily inspired by Jurassic Park. But why is that a why is that a bad thing? Right, they were based based and inspired. But when you rip something off, you're basically ninety eight percent copying exactly what you see. A ripoff is basically a carbon copy with one minor difference to try and use it as a denial. I mean, similarities, yes, but I mean, let's look at the let's get look at them next to each other. Baby Godzillas and the Raptors. There are similarities, but they're not a ripoff. I mean, at least let's be fair here. I mean, we all we all watching the same thing, right? I mean, now we're gonna be honest and fair here, right? Okay, so here is like a practical effects version of Godzilla 98 right here. All right, what is it, buddy? Just don't bend it or anything, okay? You can take it with you. No, not right now. I did it yesterday. All right, so here's here's little Godzilla. Here's a Velociraptor. You're going to tell me that's a complete ripoff? Similarities, yes. But... 
is that a carbon copy of a Velociraptor? I mean, honestly. I mean, can we at least be fair? Can we at least be honest with ourselves? Is that a carbon copy of the Velociraptor? I mean, look at this. Look at the body type. There are significant differences. I think it's fair to say that the Godzilla Juniors are an inspiration. But to say it's a complete ripoff is completely inaccurate just by looking at the picture. So I guess what I'm trying to say is when we make arguments against 98, I think it's at least fair to make them accurate arguments. This is not one of them. This is not an accurate argument. The designs don't fucking matter. They shot so similarly that they use the exact same techniques. Okay, so now you're changing the argument. So now we were arguing about the designs being similar. Now that I've presented proof of the how dissimilar they are, now you're switching the argument to the design techniques in terms of how they were presented on screen. See, and that's when you know somebody's argument is weak, when they start changing the argument. So now we went from arguing about the similarity in design, which we just shown the similarities are not very similar. So since we've proven that, now we change the argument to, all right, well, they use the same techniques and all that. <laughs> Yep, switching the goalposts. They use wide shots with CG and close-ups are used with practical effects. So what you're saying is that because they used wide shots with CG and close-ups with practical effects, that makes it bad? You do realize at the time this movie came out, CG was just being introduced. So because they used a very popular technique in Hollywood... They're going to get shit on for it, but everybody else is off the hook. Dude, your your arguments are going downhill real quick. Downhill, like I'm talking like a deep dip roller coaster. That is probably one of the worst arguments I've ever heard. Because they use a filming technique, they're gonna get criticized for it when everybody else Jurassic Park used the same technique. <laughs> and this is my point. It's okay to not like a movie or hate a movie or whatever if you have legitimate arguments. But if your only argument is that you think, not fact, you think that a design is similar to something in Jurassic Park, or now you switch from that argument to another argument where they use a technique that was commonly used in Hollywood in the 90s because CG was just being introduced. Come on. Damn, you're right. Some of us weren't even alive when G98 came out, let alone most of the Millennium Era. Yeah. I Here's the thing. G, Godzilla 98 got a bad rap, and it only got worse later, and it, it, beca it became the popular thing to do. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, we hate 98. We hate 98. But why do you hate 98? Do you, do you hate it because it's actually a bad movie? If it's a bad movie, uh, then, well... You can't sit there and say that every Godzilla movie is a good movie. Because I'll tell you straight up. I've told people this plenty of times. There's a good portion of Godzilla movies that are straight garbage. Garbage. Like, like I never... If you want to sit there and say, I love all Godzilla movies. They're all the best in the world and nothing else compares. Look, that's fine. I'm not going to sit here and pretend. All right? There are some Godzilla movies I don't even own. Because they are garbage, I'll never watch them, and I'm not wasting my money buying them. That's it. Godzilla 98 is better than a good portion of Godzilla movies. Straight up. And, and let's face it, the special effects in Godzilla 98 trump most Godzilla movies. <laughs> so, I mean, it's really not as bad as people think. People, I think, at this point are uh, are kind of brainwashed and trained into thinking or trained in believing that Godzilla 98 is the worst thing and the worst of the worst. Look, I'm not saying it's a great movie. It's not. But it's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. And at the end of the day, let's be real. People just don't like it because he doesn't look like the Godzilla they grew up with. 
And because of that, they'll, oh, Gino, it's Gino, or oh, it's Zilla, it's Zilla. No, it's Godzilla. It's a different design. You don't like it. Guess what? Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Not every Godzilla movie has to be for you. There's a lot of Godzilla movies that are not for me. I do not like Shin Gojira. Okay? And it's not really because of Godzilla, despite the fact that that is a very different design than what we've gotten, but because it's a boring ass movie that's overly has too many gov um too many political satires, no main character to gravitate towards. You know what I mean? Godzilla versus the sea monster is just straight garbage. Godzilla's revenge is straight garbage. Godzilla raids again is straight garbage. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Godzilla versus King Ghidorah from the 90s is garbage. The door rats. May I remind you, the door rats. We're going to shit on Godzilla 98 and you're going to tell me you love the door rats? <laughs> what? How about M11 on a treadmill running through the street? Come on, it's on my intro every fucking, every time I stream with my head on it. I mean, you want to talk about corny and cheesy. Okay, door rats. I remember when I first saw the door rats, I thought to myself, this is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yes, there were great moments like Mecha King Ghidorah and when Godzilla blew Ghidorah's head off. But God damn it, door rats? Door rats? I mean, really, really take into perspective what we hate and criticize and what we blindly love dorats dorats okay <laughs> leave the dorats alone you monster all right let's not pretend that every toho godzilla movie is the best thing since since sliced bread with butter and that just because one movie Decided to go a different route after getting the blessing from Toho in Japan in a in a Japanese board meeting. They got the blessing. What do you think what would have happened if they didn't get the blessing? Don't you think they would have gone back and said, okay, maybe because they even said, they even said, let me link this article so you guys can check it out. They even said they thought they went too far. They were they understood. They understood that they might have went too far. They acknowledged that. And they were prepared to make changes, but they got the green light. The reason they did not make any changes to the design is because they got the blessing from Toho. Stephen Miller tipped $3.33. I think there are a lot of problems with the story in G98, but it stays consistent concentrating on Godzilla and nothing else. Godzilla 2014 didn't even concentrate on Godzilla a whole lot. That's a fair point. As much as I love G14, that's a fair point. Now, I'll never love Godzilla 98 more than G14. But that is a good point. We focused a lot on the Muto. We focused a lot on Brody's. And Godzilla, was he was spoken about in lore. He was spoken about in different situations. But... The focus on Godzilla in the 98 film was from the very beginning. Even when he was off screen, we learned about his, his uh, biology. We learned about his habits. We learned uh, he was really treated as an animal. Ending still brings season. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, all right. When we're, when we're trained to see Godzilla get finished off, maybe not even finished off or dying, but finished off in the sense where it's, he's defeated but not really killed. So, yeah, you expect a more gravitas way to go. But when you really think about it, what else could they really have done to kill him? I mean, he got shot with six. He got shot with 12 missiles from fighter jets. All right, now think about it. One missile blew up the Madison Square Garden. He took 12 before he died. That's pretty tanky. Like, what else are you going to do to kill him? All their other conventional weapons did nothing to him. And the only reason they were able to nail him with the missiles was because he got caught in the bridge. I mean, at that time, if you look at the 90s, what weapons were 
were accessible to United States, outside of those missiles and the payloads they dropped on them, a nuke. So you're not going to nuke the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rob, the handheld rockets caused him to bleed. That's why Nick found the blood sample. Yeah, sure. So what? He didn't die. So what? He can't bleed now? I mean, come on, man. You're being impossible. <laughs> Even Godzilla 2014 bled. All right. You want to make that argument? How about all the times he bled in the Heisei series? I mean, Mechagodzilla was considered a military weapon. Not only made him bled, nearly killed him. So why don't we criticize that? Actually, G98 was a better swimmer than most Godzillas. He was pretty badass in the water. You got to admit. I just thought it was cool. Like when he started dodging missiles and shit like that. I love that. I think that's so cool. It To me, it's just... It's 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 different. You know what I mean? Like I, I've seen Godzilla a hundred times just walk through missiles. But to see him jump on buildings, look at him and be like, dude, sorry. And then they blow up the buildings behind him. I just thought that's one of the coolest things. Hey, I find it better than a bunch of lasers coming out of the back of your ass. Damn, you've changed my whole perspective on G ninety eight. Yeah, well, I'm I just think I, I just think Look, the movie's not without its criticisms. And yes, the design is very far away from what we're used to. I just don't think it deserves to be shit on the way people have shitted on it the last number of years. Because when you really think about it, nine times out of ten, the reason people shit on it is because he doesn't look like Godzilla. But if you just put that aside for a minute and watch the movie and accept the fact that this is Godzilla, just a very different vision and a very different design. Shin Godzilla was a very different vision and a very different design. Godzilla from the 70s with the smiley face was a very different design for, a de you know what I mean? He's had different designs, some not so extreme, some very extreme. A lot of people criticize the 84, which is my favorite suit, Return of Godzilla, 1984. My favorite suit, but a lot of people criticize it because it looks derpy. A lot of people love the Godzilla Millennium because they think his suit is cool. I think Godzilla Millennium looks like a fucking rat. There are all different designs. So this is just a different design. It just so happens that it's very, very far away from what we're used to. But just because it's far away from what, it's, what we're used to doesn't mean we should automatically shun it away. Now, if you want to sit here and give me a hundred million reasons, good reasons why you don't like the movie, that's fine. But if you're just going to say the movie is shit because it's not Godzilla, no, it is Godzilla. You just don't like the way it looks. That's the difference. <laughs> Godzilla 98 is the biggest LGBT character. Yeah, and look at that. He was ahead of his time, right, Danger? He was very diverse before diverse became a thing. <laughs> the writing is shit, too. It's better than, like, at least 15% of Godzilla movies, though. That's my point. Like, I'm not saying you're wrong, but is that the sole reason to hate it over every other Godzilla movie? Because there's a lot of shitty written... Most Godzilla movies are shitly written. Most Godzilla movies are ridiculously fantastical, like, beyond even comprehension. <laughs> I mean, all the criticisms you can make about Godzilla 98... You can make about any Godzilla movie, and to some extent, even more. There's a lot of things this Godzilla does because of that design that we will never see another Godzilla do. Just because he's not tanking missiles doesn't mean that what he was doing was bad. In fact, I love the chase sequence with the, with the helicopters because it's such a dynamic scene. In one sense, they're chasing after him. They're having a hard time keeping up with him. They're chasing, they're chasing, and then he lures them into a trap. He takes two of them out immediately. He starts to chase the other one down. And then he puts a, a sense of low, kind of lulls the guy to sleep. And then out of nowhere, it comes up from underneath and kills him. I mean, that's badass tactics that the Godzilla we know never did. Never. Yeah, I think we got him. Then he pops out from the building. I mean, that's just cool shit. Or how about when he finally picked up on what the military was doing? They did the fish thing, right? A couple of, you know, sometime later in the movie, they set the trap again. He rolls up. He's like, um, uh, no, we've done this before. I'm out. I mean, those are the things that I appreciate about this movie because 
yes, we got a different Godzilla design, but we also got a different vision of what Godzilla could be if he actually used his brain. Yes, we got a design that was so different, it was we were better off calling it something else. But it it wasn't. It was called Godzilla and it was approved by Toho. So, you know, I know I know you don't like it, but it's Godzilla whether you like it or not. Look, Toho approved it, man. <laughs> you know, I know people hate it when I say that, but it's the truth. It is a Godzilla movie whether you like it or not. True, but that argument isn't very good. Why is it not very good? It's a fact. Any argument that has a fact is an effective argument. You don't think it's good because you don't like to hear it. Like you, you don't consider Godzilla 98 a true Godzilla, but that's your opinion. And your opinion is up against my fact. Facts often win arguments. Therefore, you're giving your opinion that you don't like my fact. I get it. I understand that. But that still makes me the victor. So just want to let you know. Shin Showa Godzilla Legendary all retain enough to be considered recognizable. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me just pull this up again since I have to repeat myself. This is what Toho, in quote, so what Toho said. We feel you've kept the spirit of Godzilla. This is what Toho said about the Godzilla 98 design. Toho in Japan, their conference room. All right. We feel you've kept the spirit of Godzilla. The sense of the character is still there. When we look at him, it's Godzilla and nothing else. So we're giving you the green light. So you're telling me your word is stronger than Toho's? Eh -eh. Sorry. I just presented fact, dude. It's okay to lose. You know? What's important is that you learn from the loss. You can only change a character so much before it becomes something else entirely. All right, listen up. Hold on. And I quote, we feel you've kept the spirit of Godzilla. The sense of the character is still there. When we look at him, it's Godzilla and nothing else. So we're giving you the green light. Toho, quote, giving the okay on the design. All right. I'm going to keep presenting my facts. <laughs> 